everyone. My name is Maya Pilar Alcantara and I'm the CEO of the Miss Canada Globe Productions. And as you know, it is Mother's Day and we would like to pay tribute to all our MCGP staff and executives. And the lady that I would like to honor is very special to me. Her name is Soledad Pilar. Soledad Pilar is my sister, but she's very professional. She holds the position of Chief Finance Officer and the Chief Operating Officer of the Miss Canada Globe Productions. And words cannot express how grateful I am because she has been my backbone since I took over Miss Canada Globe Productions in 2005. She has not played just being my sister or my second mom. She has played a very important part in MCGP. She helped build the MCGP because when I took, her, took over the MCGP pageant, it was sort of like a vague thing for me because I didn't know how to become a director. I was just a title holder back in 2002 when I won Miss Canada Globe. And then from there, I was just working for MCGP as a trainer. But in a circumstance when I had to take over Miss Canada Globe Productions, I had no experience in becoming a director. I graduated with business administration, but my main forte was when I actually worked as a junior correspondent for Chum Television. And when I took over MCGP, Ate Sol or Soledad, became my backbone. She taught me how to become a good CEO because that was her forte. She handled so many business, including the family business that we were running, helping my parents, and has been working for multiple companies out there as their executive manager. So she came in the right place and at the right time. And her job is basically to do the overall factor, calling contestants, potential contestants, being a mom to some of our title holders as she becomes their chaperone when they have to do training. And she actually does all the business charts when it's needed, all the budgeting that is needed for a yearly production. I'm forever grateful to you, Ate Sol, because you taught me so much in life. And the wonderful thing about this is that you were very vulnerable because you were diagnosed with breast cancer, stage three. And even though you took a break for three years at MCGP, your presence can be felt all the time. You always made sure you contacted all the people who are working at the office to look after me and to take care of me. Even though you're not around sometimes, you made sure you'd done your job as my mom. So I'm forever grateful to you. I wouldn't be the person that I am today if it wasn't for you. Thank you for all your sacrifices. Thank you for taking care of me. You've been a wonderful mother to the gene. And I'm so proud of you being a single mom. That you were able to do that. You were able to help your family. And you were able to become a mother to me. Especially when our parents died. And forever, forever, I'll be so grateful for what you have done for me. I truly appreciate everything. Ate, I love you so much. And everything that I am, and everything that I am standing at this point is because of you. I owe everything to you, Ate. I love you so much. And I will never forget everything that you have done to make me who I am today. 
And even people would say, why is a family involved at MCGP? I don't care because you taught me how to become professional and you never treated me as a family when we are at work. And just to let everybody know, MCGP is not just a pageant. We are all family, from executive, from staff, from the volunteers, from the delegates, from the title holders, from the parents. We all become family, and this is what's wonderful about MCGP. We become a family. At the soul, from the bottom of my heart, Thank you for everything that you do for me. Thank you for everything that you have done for me. And I'm forever grateful. Words cannot express how I am so grateful to have you in my life. I love you, Ate. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs>